the revolution. And number two, Chinese government might try to appoint a Dalai Lama or another Lama. But you know, original is original, fake is fake. So we have the patent and copyright over reincarnation. So China is known to be a factory or manufacturing hub of a lot of things, including some duplicates. But I think the original will be original. But and that is the right of the Tibetan people to select their own Dalai Lama, which will be supported by Tibetan people first and foremost, and accepted by the larger world. Excellency, but just a reminder, uh, rejoinder, Excellency, uh, Chinese say that uh, they are also practicing uh, communism and uh, religion has no place there. And uh, they also claim, go ahead and further say that they are practicing communist, which is a democratic. Um, yes, that's what they say. There's a communism means they're atheists. They don't believe in religion. And why do you want to interfere in our religious matter? For example, with due respect, huh? a communist leader in India uh, you know, appoints a Sankaracharya. How many Hindus will follow the Sankaracharya? Right? In India, it has been a practice for thousands of years. Hindu, religion, or other faith have elected or selected their own leaders. And that's the practice that has been going on. So that's what we have been doing Tibetans, select our own lamas and follow our own lamas. So they have no role at, at all. Next. Sir, uh, this is Sanjay Agarwal. I present World News 24 7. Uh, my question is uh, with what my friend has asked. You talk about China. What about Pakistan and the neighboring countries? And what about the Joe Biden administration? What is their role? And uh, you get extended support from them. And uh, in India, when you say Tibetan government in exile, so India is the only friend, or do you have some other people? Uh, we are guests here. <laughs> So we don't comment on internal matters of India or the different countries. However, we pursue human rights and we do respect uh, human rights very differently. And as far as the US government, led by President Joe Biden, is concerned, when he was a presidential candidate, he said he would meet with his Solomon as Dalai Lama and he would support Tibetan people. He, would, he, he went further to say he'd sanction those Chinese officials who have violated human rights in Tibet. And recently they have done so. So, yes, the U.S. government, irrespective of which party comes to power, will continue to support the Tibet issue because Tibet is a bipartisan issue. Now, last December, during the pandemic, during the political crisis, right after the election in America, okay, when the Republicans and Democrats were not necessarily getting along, they passed Tibet, Tibetan, support, uh, Tibetan Policy and Support Act. Now, it's a law in America to support Tibet. And in that law, re re religious freedom of reincarnation, environmental issue of Tibet, democracy, all these are supported, including to open a U.S. council in the capital city of Tibet, in Lhasa. If the Chinese government doesn't allow America to open a U.S. council in Lhasa, then U.S. government not allow China to open another Chinese council in America. Finally, I represent CTA. CTA is legally acknowledged in the Tibet Policy and Support Act. My office, Sijong, is also legally acknowledged. So yes, India has done the most for Tibet people. And now US government has legally acknowledged Tibet administration and my office. Now the question Nothing. about your I think let's, let's give 